Hello friends, welcome to this next video on complex analysis. In the last video, what we have done, we have seen that if f of z is analytic in a domain D, is an analytic function in a domain D, then real and imaginary parts of f z, that is, if f z is u plus i eta v, then u and v are harmonic functions. In D, what do you mean by harmonic functions? Harmonic functions are the functions which satisfy the Laplace equation and which have second derivatives continuous. All the par second partial derivatives are continuous. And conversely, we had seen that conversely, we had seen that given any u is any analytic fun uh, sorry harmonic function in D domain D, then you can always find. find v which is harmonic in d such that u plus i eta v is analytic in d right okay so we have uh, used the cr conditions for computing v given u or computing u given v and this u and v they are called conjugate harmonic uh, they are called <coughs> conjugate harmonic of each other this we have done in the last video right in today's video we will look at some more things about this harmonic and analytic functions let us look at that thing suppose we have f of z is equal to u plus i eta v we have this analytic function okay now we know that u and v are harmonics harmonic function right so we define something called level curves what is level curve level curve of a function given a function f then f is equal to constant is a level curve of that function okay for example if we have x square plus y square we have this function f of x comma y is this then the level curves of this function are circles you have x square plus y square is equal to zero which is a point which is the point 0 comma 0 then you have x square plus y square is equal to 1 right which is this circle then you have is equal to 2 and so on so these are the level curves of this this function right so given a function you can have level curves this is the definition of level curves now we have this function f of z is equal to u plus i eta v okay and this is analytic function you can define level curves of u and level curves of v right so this is these are level curves of u and these are level curves of v why we are studying this actually these are of physical importance these curves are of physical importance for example suppose we know that real and imaginary parts of an uh, analytic function they are harmonic functions and harmonic functions they are uh, satisfying the laplace equation so they are solutions of some uh, physical problem we are looking for for example suppose if u is electrostatic potential if u is electrostatic potential okay electrostatic potential is actually a solution of laplace equation so if u is electrostatic potential then u is equal to constant these are called equipotential lines equipotential lines and these lines are of physical importance we want to look for these lines we want to know where in the region the lines the potential is constant right and similarly if you represent temperature okay then u is equal to constant these represent isotherms Again, uh, for a given problem, we want to know if we are solving a problem in a region D and suppose the solution of that problem is a harmonic function, that solution of that problem is given by the solution of Laplace equation, then we want to look for the lines where the temperature is constant. So actually these level curves are of physical importance, that, that's why we are studying these level curves. Right? Now what I am saying is, I am saying that suppose f of z is equal to u plus i eta v is an analytic function let us look at an example we have seen that f of z is equal to z square is analytic 
let us take one new page so we have we know that f of z is equal to z square is analytic function it means that its real and imaginary parts they are harmonic functions x square minus y square plus iota times 2xy so we have u of x comma y as x square minus y square and v of x comma y as 2xy now you draw u of x y comma is equal to constant what is this this is x square minus y square is equal to constant so these are actually hyperbolas you, you can draw these hyperbolas these are the hyperbolas looking like this okay you change the value of the constant so hyperbolas will be something like this right this 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 so for different constant values of uh, a constant the hyperbolas so these are the level curves of u now you draw the level curves of v level curves of v 2xy is equal to constant so we have this xy is equal to constant we know that this is a rectangular hyperbola so this hyperbola looks like this for different value of the constants these hyperbolas look like this okay now you combine these two level curves draw the figure in one uh, the lines in one figure what you will get you have something like this suppose this is my y axis and this is my x axis okay so these are level curves of u and these are level curves of okay u only then we have level curves of v like this so you can notice that this particular angle this angle is 90 degree okay everywhere this is 90 degree so it means that level curves of u they are perpendicular to level curves of v right so this is what we have observed so what is our observation our observation is for the function f of z is equal to z square level curves of u they are perpendicular to level curves of v right now maybe this is a coincidence maybe this is only true for this particular function but when you try some other function for example if you take f of z is equal to z cube or if you take f of z is equal to e raised to power z then also you get the same observation you have this level curves of u they are perpendicular to level curves of v for these functions also and many more so it is observed that whenever you take an analytic function whenever you take an analytic function okay then level curves of u they are always perpendicular to level curves of v right so we have this result and later on we came to know this is not a coincidence this is this can be actually proved okay this result can be actually proved let us do this let us prove it okay so what we have we have this thing if f of z is equal to u plus iota v is an analytic function then level curves of u they are perpendicular to level curves of v okay so let us prove it the proof is very simple suppose i have this function f of z this is my graph of the uh, surface u of x y is equal to constant and what is the normal of this graph we know that gradient of a function is normal to that graph so we have gradient of u uh, is normal to this line okay right sorry normal to the surface so the uh, a vector which is parallel along this line along this normal is gradient of u which is curly u by curly x i cap plus curly u by curly y j cap now similarly if you have this is your suppose v of x y is equal to constant so what is the normal to this surface that is gradient of v right that is curly v by curly x 
आई कैप प्लस करली वी बाई करली वाई जे कैप नाउ दिस सरफेस इज पेंडिकुलर टू now we have this thing this particular surface is perpendicular to this surface if and only if the normals are perpendicular okay so level curves or surfaces of u are perpendicular to level curves of v if and only if these two lines suppose this is line 1 this is line 2 this is a uh, vector which is parallel to line 1 and this is a vector which is parallel to line 2 line 1 is perpendicular to line 2 right now we know that if we know two vectors then they are perpendicular if and only if their dot product is zero if and only if curly u by curly x i cap plus curly u by curly x curly y j cap dot product with curly v by curly x i cap plus curly v by curly y j cap is zero right now let us check whether this thing is true or not you can easily check this thing is true how because function is analytic therefore cr conditions are satisfied okay so we have ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx now what is this dot product is ux into vx plus uy into vy this is what ux in place of uy you can write minus vx and in place of vy you can write u ux right so you have this thing as ux vx minus ux vx which is zero right which implies that level curves are perpendicular right so we have this result that whenever you have an analytic function if f of z is an analytic function okay then level curves of real part and imaginary parts okay they are actually perpendicular right so this is the result which, which we can use okay to solve the problems right let us just look at one problem i have this problem find the function find the function phi of x comma y that is harmonic in the region that is harmonic in the region of the right half plane of the right half plane between the curves x square minus y square is equal to two, and x square minus y square is equal to four, and takes the value, and takes the value three. On the left edge. On the left edge. And value four and value. Seven sorry, and value seven, on the right edge. right so what is the uh, what is the situation you have the following situation you want you have this thing x square minus y square is equal to 2 this is some in, and we, uh, this is a parabola hyperbola but we have to consider on the right uh, right uh, region of the right half plane so we don't have to look on the left half plane so this is x square minus y square is equal to 2 and this is x square minus y square is equal to 4 so you have to look for a uh, function which is harmonic in this region and it this function takes the value 3 here and this function takes the value 7 here right so you can see that x square minus y square is actually real part of z square okay so x square minus y square is actually harmonic why because z square is analytic and x square minus y square is real part of the analytic function and we have seen that real part of an analytic function is harmonic therefore x square minus y square is an harmonic is a harmonic function so this function can actually you know serve our purpose but because uh, we have to include the boundary conditions so instead of taking this x square minus y square what i will take you can assume that your function is of the form a into x square minus y square plus b right so you are sure that this is a harmonic function you know that this is a harmonic function right now what you want you want that phi at left edge should be 3 and what is the value of x square minus y square at left edge that is 2 so you want a into 2 plus b 
should be 3 right and then you want phi at the right edge should be 7 right so you want a into sorry you want it to be 4 I am sorry it takes the value 3 on the left edge and 7 on the right edge okay I am sorry this is 7 only a into and what is the value of x square minus y square on the right edge that is 4 plus b is equal to 7 so you have these two equations you can solve for a and b solve it and you will find a is 2 and b is minus 1 so what is your required solution so your solution is 2 into x square minus y square minus 1 right so you have a flavor that how you know this problem becomes very easy okay the solution find uh, the problem of finding this the solution of this problem is very easy if you are uh, you know using the theory of analytic functions otherwise this is a hard problem to solve okay so this is how you can use the analytic functions for the solution of uh, Laplace equations thank you